hi guys what's up my name is gracious I just came up with a new product or business product because I'm aiming to make business with that and uh, can you guess what it is it's an automated mosquito net so it has different parts as you can see this is the display that shows every uh, indication of what is going on in the system and um, this is the inside sockets beneath this net and you can see there are different component microcontrollers relays bipolar relays and the like this uh, socket here is different it deals with the safety like if the current exceeds or a short second appears so it contains all the fuses and all the safety um, components this switch is the main switch that powers off and on the system and these are the batteries the sensors there are different sensors that are underneath that are underneath uh, you can see like that now let's just assume this box is a person and uh, let us see what's going to happen maybe you're from work and you just throw yourself to the bed look at this wow amazing so it is um, sensitive and so quick to respond in order to prevent um, pursuing mosquitoes from entering the bed but also the sensors contains uh, emit some waves that are not familiar that are not uh, a good environment for mosquitoes so you can ask yourself why do we use uh, the net instead of just using the waves well um, determined mosquitoes can also like ignore the wolves if they are so hungry but also um, it is not healthy or advisable to stay with wolves 24 7 but this system after detecting the person it just lowers the power consumption of the system and thus helps to save power and uh, you know the net is efficient you are sure that no mosquito will enter inside the net there are different parts um, as you can see there are four pillars in the bed it contains some some path that helps to guide the net into it because the net is something um, easily flexible and it needs to be guided so these pillars will be just uh, placed in the corners of the bed and the whole system will be on top of the bed also we have the charging port you can see here the battery is rechargeable so you can use any means of charging like solar charging or wind whatever renewable non-renewable you can easily use it in the village or remote places and or in the towns itself now i'm going to take you through every indication here the first one is the power indication uh, when you switch on and off this main switch it indicates the main power um, the second one is the net closing so if um, the net is closing like someone is inside the bed you see it lights the third is net opening as you can see when the net opens after closing it's like that the uh, next one is the net minimum position when the net is in minimum position it detects because you cannot keep on rotating the motors when the net has reached to the minimum position so there are sensors that helps to detect the position of the net um, like that you see and that also net minimum position as you can see wow you see that it lights so now one unique feature of this product is that if something is inside the net in order to come out there is a manual button that you can control it manually but also you can uh, it detects if a body is vertically or horizontally when horizontally it just it assumes that someone is sleeping but when vertically it assumes that you want to uh, get out of the bed so i'm going to use the bipolar getter to help the box stay vertically and it will assume that the person wants to get out of the net you see that you see that wow so um, the net maximum position is when the net reaches down then come the person inside net when there's someone inside the net like this it switches on and when there's no person inside net 
uh, this green button switch on then this is charging when you input 12 volts dc uh, through via this port here and their respective terminals or polarity um, this button will light on 20k charging then this is the motors power the motors has a different power system in their batteries here because someone can stop the motors and the fuse respective for the motors can burn so it has a separate system not to interfere with the microcontrollers and the digital part so this is fully automated and uh, it can detect even something as thin and light as this uh, mobile phone so look at this you see that wow so thank you guys for your time uh, gives a thumbs up to um, my youtube channel robotics from scratch give a like and um, give some comments on how to improve the system and yeah that's it thank you